So memories are interesting. Uh, some you recall of a particular event all the time, and some surprise you. You'd forgotten about them. They are like a, a hidden trunk in a forgotten attic, and you come across this trunk, and you open it up, and there's a memory you had forgotten all about, and you pull the treasure up and see it for, again, the first time in many years. So I was going through some of my parents' stuff, and I ran across an article of clothing that reminded me of the Christmas dress my sister sewed for our mother. Now, she was nine years old at the time. She had just finished her first year as a sewing 4-H project, and she'd gotten a blue ribbon for making a pillowcase in July. So, this is coming up on Christmas, and me being six years old, I had no doubt that her skills had advanced to this level. My mother had taught her how to use our big and scary faff sewing machine, the one that my parents had bought many, 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 many years ago when they were stationed in Germany. This big, ancient machine was very intimidating to me. This, this machine was 12 years old. Now, I was six years old. It was twice my age. Very scary. And then my sister pulled me aside and told me her plan to make our mother a dress for Christmas. Oh, wow, I was impressed. N not a school art project, not a hand print and plaster. No, my sister was going to make a real grown-up dress. Now, I don't remember how we got to the fabric store. That memory is lost. But I do remember the fabric. It was on sale, 79 cents a yard. Important, because we didn't have a big allowance. And I remember it was super pretty. Up and down stripes of white, yellow, orange, green, and gold. Super pretty. I thought it would look really neat with the stripes going sideways, and my sister said, no, stripes go up and down. See, I told you she was smart. And the buttons, she had found some gold buttons that matched that gold stripe. Not, not real gold, plastic, but shiny like real gold. I don't remember a lot about the dress. I remember it was a dress you kind of slipped over your head like a pillowcase. And, and it had long, pointy collars. And, and, and the buttons were for decoration, gold buttons down the front. And I remember that the seams, wow, they were hard. They were scary. My sister did a pretty good job keeping the seams straight. A puckery, but down low so you couldn't notice it. And it was pretty. I know that. And then it came time for mom to open the present. She knew my sister was up to something. Now, what have you been up to? And she opens the package, and my sister bursts out, It's a Christmas dress! And I shout, uh, She sewed it all herself! No, I had nothing to do with it, but I was trying to get in on some of the limelight. And then came the big question, When are you going to wear it? And you know something? My mother did wear it the very next week to the grocery store. She walked up and down every aisle and made sure that everybody there knew that my daughter made this dress for me for Christmas. And my sister was next to her beaming with pride. And Friends or strangers, it made no difference. Everybody was told that story, and they would say, oh, well, it's, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And she never wore it again. <laughs> now, we kids were kind of puzzled by this, and she says, well, it's, it's much too special to wear just any time. Well, I mean... I mean, we could understand that. I mean, you wouldn't want to wear a, a nice Christmas dress like that out or anything. And so that memory was forgotten until I 
dug it up again, and now I see it from two perspectives. I see a little girl who loved her mother so much that she made her a dress for Christmas. And I see a mother who loved her daughter so much that she wore it.